She's about two metres long. It always looks scary when she swims towards us, but we're never worried because we've never had any problems before. Matt carries a plastic bag filled with sausages. But there's a problem. I was struggling to get the food out of the bag because the current was moving the bag in the current and I couldn't get my hand in to get the food out. Matt tries to push the eel away, but the fish is held bent on food. And I felt something latch onto my thumb. It was Emma. It wasn't painful at first, and I wasn't so concerned. I thought it was just a nip or something. After a couple of seconds, I started to get worried. I could see blood in the water, and she wasn't letting go. At this point, I thought, maybe I'm going to have a bad cut, maybe a few stitches. But then, a couple of seconds later, there was a loud pop, and my thumb just came off. I looked at my hand in disbelief. I could just see the bone. I realized it was quite serious, and I watched Emma swim back to the table curl, eating my thumb as she went. I was in shock. I, I didn't believe what had just happened. The only way I was going to get the thumb back was if I got my knife out and cut her belly open to try and look for the thumb. I wasn't going to do that. I just wanted to get back to the surface. They don't have the ability to suck in their prey. So their biology is such that they have a separate jaw in the back of their throat that once they've latched on to prey, this separate jaw, complete with teeth and everything, comes shooting out and grabbing the prey and sucks it back into the throat. I don't think it was an aggressive behavior. This was just the eel doing what the eel does, which is feeding itself. Fortunately for Matt, his doctor knows of a radical solution. He told me that he had a colleague in Bangkok that had performed an operation before where he removed somebody's toe and sewed it onto their hand so they had another thumb again. Um, as soon as he mentioned that this operation was possible, I was all for it. In a six-hour procedure, two teams of surgeons replace Matt's missing thumb with a toe from his left foot. Now it's almost five years after the accident and I've completely forgotten that I have a toe for a thumb. It's almost as good as a real thumb. I can move it pretty much perfectly and I can feel it at about 80 percent. In spite of the bloody matchup with Emma the eel, Matt is functioning quite normally. Oh, 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 oh.